Hi guys, I thought I'd jump on and just, just say hi. I'm going to try my hand at vlogging again today. Um, we, me and my partner are going to go out on date night. We're going to go for a meal and then we're going to go and see a show called Sh Circus of Horrors. So we've never seen it. I think it was on Britain's Got Talent a few years ago. But it is just like a gruesome kind of circus. As long as I don't bring clowns out, I'm fine because I am completely petrified of clowns. So I'll take you along with us and... Maybe I'll be able to film a little bit there and show you what it was like. See you soon, guys. Hi, guys. I thought I'd just jump on, have a little chit-chat over the first few photos. These are from our date night. We had a platter, a sharing platter to start, which had a few different things on it. Um, then for the main course, I had a burger with goat's cheese and a normal beef burger. My partner had something called a super stacker, which was... A burger, pulled pork, pulled chicken and onion rings. These cocktails, my partner had the little silver one. It tasted like a mini milk ice cream. I had one called a zombie, which was really strong. But I hope you enjoyed these photos as much as I enjoyed the actual performance. Because it was amazing. This first photo that's coming up now is of the woman that gets swung around by her hair. She must get an awful headache. The second one is of one of the sinister sisters that again does a act swinging from the sky. And this guy was the singer slash asylum leader. He was awesome. And this guy here, he was just completely nuts and kept making people jump before the performance. He got me a couple of times, but he was evil. Anyway. On with the photos from the performance. Enjoy, guys.
Hi guys, I just wanted to jump in here with the last few photos just to say the next two videos are very close up, but I have just got a new phone, so still learning how to use it, but I promise the upcoming videos in the future I will have learnt and they will be of better quality. But still, I hope you enjoy what I've added on to the end of this video. Hi guys, I'm back from the Circus of Horrors today. We had a absolutely amazing time. I did get some souvenirs. My partner got this little Circus of Horrors clown keychain. I got a little pen which says Circus of Horrors and has a little skull there. We got the Night of the Zombie DVDs which is another one of their acts. And the one we watched today was Circus of Horrors Psycho Asylum. Now it was really good. I did get a few pictures with some of the cast and I got a couple of signatures if I can find out where they signed them. This was done, but this signature was actually from this guy. He is the lead singer and he is uh, the main guy in charge. He is a better photo of him. This is what he looked like through most of the performance. Um, now these are the actors. These are the people on the ward, as they call it. And now the signatures that I got today was, ah, this lady here. And that's actually the same woman, just blonde hair. I got her signature and I got a photo with her. Um, and then, now I did meet both of the uh, sisters, but... They were selling these programs at the start. Now, I didn't realise until I was downstairs with this woman that was selling the programs. They were the Sinister Sisters. So, although I met both, I only got this signature and a photo of me and her together. So, I would say, overall, this was a great, great performance. Um, and I'll get the opinion of my partner, and we'll see where, see what Opinions he thought of it as well. what we thought of, my camera is really bad, of what we thought of tonight. Now, personally, I found it amazing until these clowns came out of nowhere. They was one this side of me that completely made me jump, and while I was paying attention to where this guy was on this side, another guy came from this side, and put his face right up to me. And I'm not ashamed to say I screamed like a five-year-old girl. You did. I am petrified of happy clowns in circuses. So I was petrified when these evil clowns came that close to me. Even the one who was climbing up over us? Yeah, there was one that climbed right in between us. I actually jumped into the person next to me. And I basically hid behind her and I don't know who she is. True. Um, so yeah, I'm scared of happy clowns and I'm definitely scared of psycho clowns that try to attack me. Um, I also got attacked, or no, I wouldn't say attacked, but I got grabbed from behind. Um, oh, by the asylum people. Yeah. As the interval came out, these people came climbing off the stage and they were just, just people in white suits. But one of them grabbed me from behind and shook my shoulders. And I didn't okay. know what the hell it was. And again, I screamed like a five-year-old girl. I'm not ashamed to say I was scared. Not a lot scares me. But when I do get scared, <laughs> I scream like a child. So enough of what nearly killed me. What did you think of the night? I really enjoyed it. It was <coughs> quite funny. There was bits. The main bit I liked was the... Um, oh, what was it? I believe it was the part where the lady was up in the air by her hair. That was, um, what do you call it? I don't know. Crazy? Yeah, that. Crazy. <laughs> we go with crazy and insane. But yeah, it was really enjoyable. Unexpected. Bit weird. Never seen that before. We've seen other circuses, like standard, normal circuses you see going around. But this one was very unique. Much more of a freak show type, old fashioned kind of circus. Yeah, like I was saying earlier. With you. Not that they're freaks at all, but. <laughs> Are you sure they're not freaks? Because they look like they were. 
Well, they call themselves freaks. It's what the uh, what old fashioned people would say. It was a sideshow freak show kind of kind of act. There was. I will say now, if you don't want to see a midget private areas, you might want to skip for a few bits because he attached a Henry Hoover to his private areas and he dragged it around the stage. Yeah. And he bent over quite a few times and showed his bum. There's um, also one part where he's swinging a weighted ball from his... Dinky wink. Yeah, that. That bit I didn't get on camera. Um, did you get it on camera? I hope not. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what we got on camera. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to put all the photos from our dinner. Well, I took about three pictures at dinner. Um, I'm going to put them into a photo. Uh, them photos in with the asylum photos. And I'm going to call that one video. And then I'm going to put all of the videos that we took at the psycho asylum into another video. The sound quality may not be the best. We were third row, so there were speakers. Flashing lights <laughs> and everything God right in front of us so the quality may not be amazing um but as you can probably tell from this video i've actually got a new phone so the quality may be better than may be better than before um so yeah i'm gonna make two videos out of it i think because the videos they i've got one that was about six minutes long on its own so i'm gonna put them in to their own video so we'll have because i'm trying to upload weekly at the moment i'm gonna have one of just photos and then one of just the videos um because i think me and my partner's got more than enough photos to fill up oh yeah a good size a good size video um yeah so apart from that have you got anything else to add no not really apart from <coughs> if you like Half naked women, <coughs> then yeah, yeah, there are some very half naked women. Um, a lot of them were just in their underwear, which I don't know, I might go out in my underwear tomorrow. How do you reckon people take it? Um, I don't think I should, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, they were in their underwear and they were shaking their bum, and yeah, there's some very questionable things that was going on on the stage, mm -hmm. but. It, it was an amazing night. We did have a lot of fun. We don't normally get out to do things like this often, but it was definitely, definitely worth it. And also, in the videos right at the end, if you don't hear it, what they say is they will be <clears throat> back in this area, Corby area, like Northamptonshire, in Wellingborough and Kettering. In the new year. So we may go again. We may not go again. We're going to see if there's tickets available because I would love to see it again. Whether it be Psycho Asylum again or a different show. Um, it might be a different show. It could be a different show. I want to look into that because the DVD we've got is still Circus of Horrors, but it's um, it? it's, zomb it's the zombie. The uh, Night of the Zombies. So the, Yeah, the Night of the Zombies. So they do a few different shows. Oh, that is an amazing picture. Show the camera that picture. That is the Twisted Sisters. They, I think I've got a video of that, actually. They hang from the ceiling on a little, like, birdcage-type deal. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to cut the video here. I'm kind of rambling a bit. So I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you enjoy the next video that has all the videos in it. So the next video of videos. videos. Yeah. That's a mouthful. Um... But the next couple of weeks, there are going to be videos up every week because I obviously have two from this one. I have a Sea Life one that will have been up um, before this one, so that you would have seen that. And I've got a couple that saved and pre-recorded and ready to go up. So I hope you're enjoying my channel. I hope you're enjoying the videos I'm putting up. And over Christmas, there will be a few more vlog type uh, deal, deals kind of videos because we are going back down to Kent so I'll film what I can there. There there may be a pantomime video, they don't allow photography or video so it could be a very very short video of what I can get in but I will try to film a few things from under my coat if I can. But we've got that coming up, we've got... France. Yeah we're going back to France this 
this year. I think I put a video up last year of just sort of when I was starting out as very mini haul. So I'll do a better video of that this year. We'll be going to a chocolate factory, which is which is in France. So I tried to do no, that. No, it's in Germany. No, it's not in Germany. Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> At least I don't think it was. <laughs> I fall asleep on coaches. I could end up anywhere. No, we're yeah. going to be going to the French Christmas market slash chocolate shop. Um, so we'll be doing that. Um, I could probably get a couple more videos down there and we'll see what we got. But I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to cut the video here. And again, as I said before, I hope you enjoy it. And I'll catch you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.